This snippet is Working with Components in Sketchflow. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to create components in a Sketchflow project. Concepts covered include the purpose of components, creating a component from existing elements, as well as adding and modifying components to your navigation screens. You'll also learn how to modify the appearance of sketch style elements using the Properties panel. So in order to get started, you'll want to go ahead and open up the Snowboard Online project associated with this snippet. Once you have that open, within the Sketchflow map, you'll want to double click on that Welcome screen so that you can see the navigation bar as noted here. So let's just talk about components for a moment. Components in Sketchflow are reusable elements that you can add to multiple screens at a time. So for example, here we have a navigation bar. We'll be converting this to a component and then adding multiple instances of this navigation bar to a number of different screens. Each one of those instances will be linked back to the original component. So anytime we change that original, all the others will instantly be updated. So this can save you an awful lot of time and also ensure consistency. The first thing you're going to want to do is lock down this background image. In order to do that, click once to select it. Once you click on that, you'll see within your Objects and Timeline panel that that BG Welcome or Background Welcome image is selected. If you don't see your Objects and Timeline panel, choose Window, Objects and Timeline. On the far right hand side of the panel, there's a column for the lock icon. Click once, you'll see a padlock appear, and now that means this background image can't be moved. And the reason this is important is because we're going to select this navigation bar, including all of those buttons inside. So place your cursor immediately above and to the left of that nav bar, click and drag down to the right. And you can also see within the objects and timeline panel that all of those elements are also selected. Now to turn this into a component, we're going to right click and choose this option, make into component screen. Go ahead and give this component screen a good name, nav bar, and then click OK. Now once we do that, a few things happen. First of all, we can see that navbar is actually an independent document. So components are really independent files. The second thing we can see is that the Sketchflow map has a new icon here, labeled navbar, and it's also green and an oval. This helps set it off from all of the other navigation screens that we have. We can also see that there's a dotted green arrow going from that navbar to the welcome screen. Actually, let's go ahead and click and drag that nav bar slightly down and to the left just to organize our map a little better. Now, if we double click on that welcome screen in the Sketchflow map, we can see that that nav bar is here, and this is actually now a component. At this point, it's very hard to tell that this is a component. We do have this exclamation point here, and I'll talk about that in a moment. If I hover over that nav bar, you'll see in the left hand corner there's a small oval. This also tells us that it's a component. So I'll explain the exclamation point in a moment. First, what I'd like you to do is to click and drag this component navbar onto the four pages, Boards, Boots, Bindings, and Community. And you can do that by simply dragging and dropping and putting that component right on top of the screen. So it looks something like this. Every time you do that, you'll see a green dotted arrow appear. And if you now double click, for example, on the Boots page, you'll see that this now appears. Chances are you're going to have to reposition this, so take a few moments to reposition that nav bar on all four pages. Now when you're done repositioning those nav bars, you'll want to go ahead and go back to our board screen, much like I have here. Now to talk about this exclamation point here just for a moment on my screen, now the reason I see this is because I converted a pre-existing element to a navigation bar. So what I need to do is to refresh the Sketchflow project so that it's now aware that it's a component. I can do that by choosing Project, Build Project. Okay, after we build that project, we should see our navigation bars appear like so. So now we're going to go ahead and modify the original component so that you can see how it updates all of the instances. In order to do this, I'm going to double click on my navbar component in the Sketchflow map. I'm then going to go ahead and click anywhere in the background to deselect it. And then I'm going to go and click on that rectangle because I'd like to change this to a different color. With that rectangle selected, you'll want to go to the right hand side of your screen, locate the Properties tab, and within the Properties tab you'll want to find your color editor. Currently, the background of this rectangle is set to white. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on the left hand side of that editor to turn it gray. And what we should now see is that when we double click on the boards page, for example, that this has now been updated and that this snap bar is now gray. And the same is true of all the other pages. So one other thing that I'd like to point out with components. Let's go ahead and double click on this page, live chat. So here we have an element that we might want to apply to all the pages in our application, a live chat window. In order to do this, I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to select this entire live chat interface. I'm then going to right click over it, and I'm going to choose Make into Component Screen. Now this time, I want to click this checkbox here, Leave Original Content As Is. I'm going to go ahead and rename this chat and then I'm going to click OK. So a similar thing happens here as it did with the nav bar. However, there's one crucial difference. If we look within the Sketchflow map, we can see a very similar thing happened here as it did with the nav bar. However, there's one significant difference. We can see that this chat component is not linked in any way to the original live chat screen. That's because we clicked that checkbox. Now, if we want to add that chat element to the review cart page, for example, we can simply click and drag it and place it on top of Review Cart. Let's go ahead and double click on the Review Cart screen, and then we'll click and drag and make sure that that live chat is exactly where we want it, perhaps in the upper left hand corner. The last thing I'd like to point out here is that you can actually create component screens by scratch if you know that you want to. In order to do that, you would right click anywhere within your Sketchflow map, and within that context menu, choose create a component screen. What this will do is create a new blank artboard by default and you can begin building your component as needed. Thank you for now. My name is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.